Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Mindless Horror Podcast presents Scare Actor Appreciation Month. It's your boy Sam. Today we got two wonderful guests, um, monsters at the fine place called Not Scary Farm. We got, um, and they both were in mazes. Well, one of them was in Origins and the other was in Dark Ride. Why don't you introduce yourself today? <laughs> Hi, I'm Martin Martinez and I was in Dark Raid. My name is Michael Martinez and I was in Origins. If you guys didn't realize, they're brothers. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> that simple. Um, gentlemen, thank you for being on the show. Of course. Character thank you for having us. Yeah, yeah, thank you for having us. Um, so the first and foremost question I want to know is how long have you guys each been doing Haunt for? So this year was my second year. Okay. My second year at Scary Farm. All right. What'd you do your first year? First year, I was in the, ma uh, the Dark Indies maze for its first launch. Um, I was a character called Chad for Maintenance. So that was a pretty cool, pretty cool, cool experience. And then I came back for more because scaring people is so much fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you get paid on top of that, so it's like it's yeah. awesome. What about yeah. you? So <clears throat> this, is my, this was my first year, nice. my first season of doing Haunt. And I got to open a brand new maze, so that was pretty awesome. Origins, man. Yeah. We're going to get into a lot of Origins today because... Got some questions, and as well as a lot of dark ride. Cause yeah, so we love all these mazes. These mazes were just like, oh my god. I know, dark ride was my favorite maze. Dark well, ride is great, man. <clears throat> yeah, when they told me, like, oh, do you want dark ride? I was like, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Don't take Count dark me ride. in. Like, you know what? <laughs> I'll, I'll take it, man. What do you want me to do? Anything. You want to start today? Let's start today. Let's start today. <laughs> <laughs> it's August, sir. Okay, okay. Still, we'll start today. You know? <laughs> While they're building it, you know, I'll just sit in there, you know, it's all good. <laughs> I'll wait. I'll wait till the season starts. Um, oh, I know. It's an we'll, itch. Well, really, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a method actor to the abandoned dark ride, so I, I need, might as well be in there. Right? <laughs> Live and breathe it. Live and breathe it. <sighs> Smell the sawdust coming off of building it and everything. Oh, jeez. Um, <laughs> we have enjoyed a lot of this season, especially because a lot of, you know, a lot of times you go to these things, go to the mazes and stuff, and... Um, we were fortunate enough to, of course, every night we went to try to hit our favorites. Uh, Dark Ride and Origins were honestly at least two of the mazes I can remember that we would hit. Almost. Um, most of the season. Most of the time, yeah. Uh, it was Special Ops, Dark Ride, and Origins usually that we would hit a lot. Um, so going into mazes, um, what do you find the most uh, fun doing while in there scary? And what do you find the most difficult doing? Let's see. <clears throat> the fun part, well, I mean, I'm trying to think. Uh, um, I think for me this year, it was because it was a big room. I was in Clown Hell this year. Yeah. So I found that it was well lit, so people could see you from mm -hmm. a mile away. So I, I found that a little bit intimidating, but over over the whole season, I owned it, man. Nice. Owned it. So I'm like, oh, this is like a little mini mini streets thing, you know. Yeah. No, dancing. it's like a giant playground for you guys. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's a, yeah. You got slides. You got like places where you can jump from the other side to back to the floor, you know. You got stages. You can be above people. You can be below people. It's like. You can get the scare on one side. They go through the maintenance. Exactly. You can catch them again on the back. Yeah, yeah dude. It's like, you know, that double scare, man. Yeah. You can set them up so when they're going out the gift shop, <laughs> they don't see what's coming. Exactly. <laughs> I know the gift shop threw a lot of people off. They're like, there's a lot of people that went through Dark Ride in previous years. They're like, oh, after Clown Hell, that's it. Yeah. Wait, what? This the year they have more? Through the gift shop? <laughs> the gift shop was so Unless you went cool. to uh, Midsummer Scream, you didn't really, you weren't going into that one blind. Midsummer Scream, I remember they announced that, hey, we're going to have a gift shop. And then, yeah, they were bagging on it. It's like, is that a way so you guys can sell merch and stuff, you know? And I was like, <laughs> That's hilarious. I wish they would. Did you guys see what what they did this year for the gift shop? The merch. I didn't get to see. No, no. Did you see no. The, the camera? The camera. Yeah. So in in the new surveillance room because they had two new rooms this year. So yeah. Surveillance room. Yeah, I remember that. And then the the gift shop. When you yeah. press the red button, it takes a picture of the person leaving. Really. And, and it says, "I pooped my pants. I shit myself." Yeah. That's what it said. <laughs> Dark ride. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have bought those pictures or no? Oh man! I was really, especially when Where, I found that out. Did you have honestly gotten those pictures too, or no? No, they should make that a thing. To be honest, where did they? Where did they show the pictures at? Were so they, on the screen, screen, the screen was yeah. the gift oh, shop. Oh wow! I was constantly. Yeah, because <laughs> we were just going so fast once you got out. Yeah, 
I saw it. Uh, oh, wow. I, was, I, had, I had saw. Uh, That's so cool. Someone had mentioned in a video I was watching, like on probably like a Monday or Wednesday, Monday through Wednesday, and I was like, I wish I was back at Han. I wish I was back at Han. Didn't inform me about this. I probably did. It's probably <laughs> after after the, the season. <laughs> you wait post season to tell me about this. And you know the reason why we're doing this character appreciation month is to get over haunt depression, and you and you tell me this now. Well, you know what? Hopefully, it'll be back next year. Hopefully, yeah. you'll have something to look forward look to forward. now. <laughs> that's the first thing I'm looking forward to if it ever comes back next year with that room. Oh, Just I know. Going for rope that. drop, run to dark right. <laughs> Press red button. What is origins? <laughs> but you, if if the screen, I think if the screen's working in the. In the surveillance room, you can see the picture too. Oh no, yeah, there was three different videos in yeah. the, um, that correlated with the little, uh, the little copsy string they had there too. Mm-hmm. Like I don't, and they, and they spell theirs with a K. And they, don't, they don't do the C one because they know they get copywritten. But it's hilarious. They played Bad Boys and everything. That was actually a throwback to uh, if you went through the Voodoo Maze back in the day. They actually, in one part of the room, they were playing cops, and you heard the bad voice. And I'm just like, this doesn't make sense. You're in a voodoo maze in Louisiana, and they're playing cops. Cops is popular cops. around the states. I do not remember that. Yeah, there was a there was a scene. Uh, I think it was before you went into the bayou, like area. And like it was in the hut, and like on the TV playing was cops. Oh, okay, now I remember. Yeah, yeah I, I just okay. remember hearing the bad boys team. I'm just like, I know. what's going on? Wait, wait, this doesn't make sense. I think wait, what was the think, song they played in the maintenance room? room. In the maze? In the ma- that one room where the guy was, we're playing like song, like... I remember just one song for the entire maze, and it's just like the theme song that was going No, through. no, there was another song before, like, it's like towards the one off. thing that throws the whole thing off. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> no, I, I, but I think just the concept... It was like a classic rock song. Oh, you're talking about Born on the Bayou. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. They were playing Born on the Bayou. Yeah, every time I listen to that song, I'm just like, Dark Ride. <laughs> Oh yeah, when, um, so I, used to, I used to walk through every time like yeah, when I was born on the fourth of July, and the guy would look at me like, really, dude, <laughs> really, really. Oh, the yeah. cart. I think it was the cart room or something. Like yeah, that. Like all the, the plans room, on there. Room, yeah, maintenance repairs or whatever. Yeah, that was, yeah. yeah uh, that's that's one thing. Um, I guess it just happened. You know, they have little Easter eggs in each of the mazes. Yeah. So born on the bayou was great. It was. I mean, I can imagine those characters and then probably get annoyed by it. You would know, have been really sick. <laughs> you know, I know. But eventually, you get used to the sound and you don't. Even, it doesn't bother just you anymore. out because you're just focusing on the scare yeah. at that point. Yeah. yeah. That'd be sick though if they changed. I mean, I know that they're changing the. What's a. It's a 40 ride there. I'm sorry, what? What's a 40 ride above the arcade? What's that one called? Iron Reef. Iron Reef, Voyage to the Iron Reef. Would make cool they made a dark ride. Oh, and actually sh- brought it to life. That'd have <laughs> been so the sick. Lore of not scary farm. Um, that would have been so sick. Tell us a little bit about Clown Hell and the madness that goes on there. I'm pretty sure you guys have like a lot of shenanigan moments in there too. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. I mean, we we all worked as family in that room. Yeah. So luckily for me, I was in I was in Cat's B. Um. And then we all got along, so we fed off each other's scares. Nice. So like, we didn't even have to say anything. We just, you know, one actor saw me set up or. Mm-hmm. I would see another actor, scare actor, set up, and we're just bounce off each other and scaring people. Definitely. So, like, yeah, we're just like, we didn't have to say anything or plan it. We just saw it. We saw each other, read it, and went for the that scares. That's it, man. I like when there's a lot of good chemistry like that. Yeah. To, um, let's talk a little bit about origins, too. <laughs> now. Wait, so I, well, this is my question before we get to that. For, so it goes for both of you. How, what is it like opening a new maze? Like, how, how does it? How do you feel? Yeah, you've had experience with that with dark entities now. Yeah. Okay. So in dark, and back to my, or back to the question where, you know, maze. Yeah. In dark entities, I wasn't. I was in a very small room. Yeah. I was in the. Um, what was the room? It was the room right before you went back onto Earth. So it was by the vibrating door. Okay. So. Yeah. yeah. Um, the cargo room, that's what it was called. Okay. That room was extremely small, but very effective when it came to scares. Yeah. Um, so when I when I opened the maze up and I and I think this is with any scare actor, when you get in when you get put onto a new maze, mm-hmm. none of the no one has ever, you know, dealt the character. So that's your chance to actually, you know, set it up Definitely. for other people and other you know, other years that come after you. Yeah, yeah. So reset the bar, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, for me, for my experience for Origins, uh, well, after we got the character description, I'm like, okay, I love to kill, 
So, <laughs> <laughs> well, because, yeah, in the character description that we got. What was your character? Uh, Ghost Town Ghoul. Oh. Well, the only thing is with that, there's multiple Ghost Town Ghouls throughout the whole maze. Yeah, yeah. If, well, <laughs> you could tell when you walk through. Um, but the room I was in, which was, which, which was with the witch. Okay. So... Oh yeah, the witch word. So you yeah. were the you were the guy scaring people while people were looking up. So yeah. they've probably seen you multiple times. You, yeah, that's so easy. Oh. <laughs> exactly. No, it's a great distraction. Yeah, it's here, such a great distraction. You're focusing on her the entire time. It is, and then it is. Okay, okay. explain the isn't part. <laughs> so because it got me every time. <laughs> so the isn't part is because some people will get too immersed by the witch, and I'll go for the scare and. Still looking up. <laughs> no reaction. I'm, ah. like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm like, fuck okay. <laughs> you. Move on to the next gear. Yeah. 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 But. Hey, but, and that room looks so bright, too, so I clown how. Yeah, and it was. A, it didn't. I know the pathway didn't seem so big, but, like, the room itself was. It's really big. big. Yeah. And then what it was exciting about that was, like, Almost every night, I found like a new place to hide, or places just like scare. Got ten holes and stuff. And just and oh, oh god! <laughs> I know. Look, back to Clown L. That room is really big, so no. we had the um, the freedom too to go into the other rooms. Yeah. Because uh, a lot of people like we go through the the other like the the power room, the maintenance room, and then the gear room. Yeah. And they're like. You know, sometimes it would be empty, uh -huh. so some of us would go in there and scare people. Um, yeah, I think, oh well, yeah, I don't know if you guys saw, but for the, the surveillance room, there could be a scare actor underneath that desk, too. Yeah, yeah. I saw it a couple times. <clears throat> yeah, I think the first couple of times, like, I pressed the button, and then like, the guy would come up and just start tapping the buttons, too, and I'm just like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, we, we, I, I love both of these mazes so much, just because of the fact of, like, with Dark Ride, you know, you have this, you know, what if scenarios like, you know, these carnies came back to these this this ride that just had been shut down and abandoned for years, and now they're raising hell. They're killing. They, you know, the, obviously the story is you see the security guard on the you know, floor dead. You're walking through. You're like, oh, immediately that's good. And you walk mm -hmm. in the first room. You see this homeless person just living there. <laughs> the hobo, yeah. Which was uh, warning you to you know, go not through. go in. And then as you go through more, you're seeing, of course, the dark ride is. What, what I like about this maze, too, is the fact that a lot of it is practical effects. Like, it's so cheesy, you know, compared to those carnival dark rides, which I think is amazing. Um, and as you're progressing through, it's just getting worse and worse. Yeah, a lot of people were thrown off because when they came to clown, they were like, whoa, and then all these clowns in that room? Yeah. Room? There was, I think, at least seven of us at, a, you know, a full capacity. Yeah, yeah. So, and, um... I mean, yeah. you, have, you have a guy on stilts, you have someone in that chair, like the throne, which is really cool. The ringmaster, yeah. and then you got Cinnamon, the character, which is like Queen Hell, um, the Queen Hell, or, yeah. or yeah. Queen of Hell. Yeah. And um, then I was, what was I, oh, a, bru a bruiser clown. So my character liked to beat up people. Nice. I, was, I loved it, especially when you walked into Clown Hell. Like, right when you walked in, you had the person coming right off that ledge every time. Every time. Yeah. Now, yeah, a lot of people, because, you know, you'd be walking in. You don't expect hand or a scare actor to come just above you like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. threw a lot of people off. Definitely. Um, and then with you know with the maze like Origins, it's like this was the first maze that tied like, everything yeah, together. You know? yeah. And it slowly looks like the next coming years we're going to see more of this story it was, build. Um, it was awesome because you got the opening ceremony. Uh -huh. That was connected to it, and then you also had the hanging, which was also intertwined. Definitely, yeah. and of course you got Ghost Town as it is, and you know, that's yep. just, the way I've always looked at it is, like, you got this opening ceremony, from there, just go straight to the maze to continue that story. When you get out of that maze, you walk through Ghost Town, you're seeing the aftermath of her curse, mm -hmm. of all these creatures running around, and if you want to explore it even more, go to the hanging, go watch the hanging, and it, it furthers the story, and, you know, so it's like a big, giant story, if you really, like, follow, like, kind of like in sequence you know what i mean and yeah exactly it's, it's perfect you know yeah so. it was pretty cool because when i went through the maze they had scare actors right as you're walking in line yeah interacting with you and that was pretty cool and obviously you have the mayor or the uh judge the judge yeah. talking to you interacting with you that guy was savage dude he was <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but yeah like, the forgetting sarah marshall hang that wish you almost getting mistaken for hang that bitch you know just yeah savage. heard that plenty of nights yeah especially when i was on break <laughs> You're like, hey, that, that what? 
<laughs> hey, that bitch. What? What? You said, you said, is that a W or is that a B? Let me know which one we're going with. Yeah, the audience didn't know. They were going B's, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, their minds are just saying, that bitch, yeah, let's go. <laughs> but what I really loved how with Origins, they didn't start the story at the entrance of the maze. Yeah. They started it, like, where you enter the line. Yeah. yeah. That's what I really loved about it. You have, of course, the guy with the wanted poster of Sarah Marshall. Yeah. And you have the... The freaking uh the under you know, the grave digger yeah. and then um, the, the guy, undertaker yeah the undertaker you know measuring people for coffins and suits and stuff and of course you oh have I should have brought it damn all these what'd you have um well so one of those characters they made buttons oh, nice. and it says I got a fitting from shoot what was his name ah oh, it was it was the character's name yeah from the undertaker yeah. yeah that's so cool man that's really cool that someone actually went out of their way and did that. That's, I mean, that's something that I always cherish, though, too, because, like, you're the first cast to be in that. So, like, the next coming years, even if you're not in it anymore, you can be, like, was part of that. This was, like, a new era of knots, which I think is like, going to be part of history. Especially with, like, a, uh, especially with Dark Ride, too. I mean, like, when that yeah. when that ride, you know, that maze came in, it's, like, it was a whole new era of just, like, it's really, same thing with Dark Entities. Like you said, I'm setting up what's coming for the next cast to come in, you know what I mean? To carry on that role. Yeah. And it's just like, I think it's, it must feel like honorable to like be the first X characters in this maze. Like, yeah, it was in that maze. Because people are going to talk about it, you know? Like yeah. years to come, they're going to go down like, oh yeah, remember Dark Entities, the freaking alien maze, man? Or remember Origins, that one maze that like tied everything together? Dark Ride, that one that has like an abandoned ride? Like people talk about these, man. It's like it goes down in history. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people, you know, rate their, oh, on YouTube especially, you yeah. know, be rating and talking about the different mazes. We haven't yet to do that yet. We still got to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We've been it's already, we already opened the with November. I know. Uh, we have so many things we've we got. We got a lot of do December videos for you. It's all the rankings of all the events. <laughs> Uh, I know, because we, uh, we, you know, we we talk a lot. Obviously, we hang out a lot, and most of the time when we're at Scary Farm, we're like, we're thinking content all the time. It's like, we're well, like, all right, we're gonna do this this week. We're gonna do this this week. I made this a Queen, week. I made a Queen Mary one. I just have to edit it. Oh uh, yeah. So that's that. <laughs> What's up? Spoiler? Is it Lullaby number one? Oh no no, uh, Rogue. Yes, I believe. Rogue is number one. Rogue. Yeah. yeah. Um, one thing I thought that was pretty cool um, when it came to these mazes, D Origins and Dark Ride, um, especially Dark Ride, because you got the Dark Ride, you know, abandoned amusement, you know, and when, once you're done, you go into Boardwalk with other clowns. Other clowns. So, like, you so, go to Clown Hound, it's like, clowns yeah. after that. All the clowns are now on the streets. Yeah, Even when you so, were in line, too. Like uh, depending depending on how far they let Carnival go on certain nights, but I was just saying like depend because like especially at the beginning of the season they were letting Carnival go all the way through like Supreme Screen. Yeah, that's because uh. the boundaries end at the I think the train tracks. The train tracks is their boundaries, yeah. but they don't ever go that far. They only go over to like, <clears throat> the entrance of Supreme Screen and then come back. Yeah, um, and then their boundaries for where Dark Ride is is like where the funnel cake stand, like the line starts for that. And then they gotta go back, but they yeah. always stay around the main boardwalk area just because there's so many people that. Pass yeah, in the midway. Yeah, and, yeah. and then and going back to the origins, you got you know Ghost Town, and then or go through the maze of origins, and then once you will step out, Ghost back Town. Back in Ghost Town, so expand yeah. it. All right. Um. So. You you know you were of course, Dark Entities, Dark Ride, you both you hit both the darks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, first year on Origins, which is awesome. Um, is there plans for you guys for next season? To either you want to keep doing mazes, or you want to go on the streets. For me, oh, you want to go first? I don't know. Do you? All right. <laughs> well, for me, um, I was really motivated doing Clown Out. Um, I loved how it was because it kind of got me ready for streets because mm -hmm. Clown House is really big and people see you a mile away. <laughs> so I think. I mean, at first I kind of struggled, but over the season I got much better, and I, you know I produced a lot of scares. Yeah. Um. So next year I am probably gonna go for streets. At least I don't know what Ghost Town or Carnival are the two choices I have right now. Definitely. Or I'm thinking of. Yeah. So yeah, um, and then plus I have a lot of friends in Carnival as well. That's cool, because, I mean, you can even talk to them about character development and how to create, like, what character you should create and stuff. Um, and I think with the experience with Clown Hell, it's, like, that it helps a lot, too, you know? It's, like, think of it as, like, um, when a character said, think of 
your maze runs as like a giant audition for streets. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. yeah. No. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. You're good. No, it, exactly. That's how I felt about Clown Hell. That was yeah. like a preparation for streets because, like I said, they can see you a mile away, mm -hmm. but still, they see a clown. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, "Oh, what is that clown gonna do?" So what I would do sometimes, I'm like, I just stare at you. And then go running towards you and people freak out. Oh, yeah, man. They're like, oh! Yeah, everybody's got that clown phobia, man. It's like... And then I had a really special laugh, too. So it's like, holy oh, crap. <laughs> so coming up with a laugh like that, what what, what, what what inspirations do you draw from? Obviously, I, I would say one of them would probably be Joker, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Joker, I mean, he's the, he's the iconic clown prince of crime, man. Yeah, and then, you know what? I've been drawn to a lot of characters who have interesting laugh like throughout movies. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, Joker, you know, all through you know through time. Yeah, yeah. Um, Jack Skellington. Yeah. Um, Rafiki. You know, oh. Huh. Yeah. It just I love I love characters that have a very distinct laugh. Yeah. So, yeah, that's kind of that's and I like clowns too. Yeah. So when they told me like, oh, you're gonna be a clown, I'm like, yes, woo, I, woo. yes I am. <laughs> <laughs> Been preparing for this all the time. My life has led <laughs> to this film. Yep. Mike, um, what, do you, what about you? What do you do? You have big plans for next season? Um, or would you be happy back in Origins again, man? Because that means it's beautiful. I would, but to be honest, I want to get like as much experience or as much of Knox scary farm as I can, mm -hmm. like throughout the years I'm there. Um, so my plan is to go for streets also. But if I don't make streets, I hope to open up another maze next nice. year. Nice, yeah, because there's. <clears throat> two more that should be opening up because now yeah. Shadowlands and Special Ops are out. They should be probably adding two more now. Yeah, which would be really cool. Yeah, so you can do the history part of that too. Mm -hmm. um, but plan for streets. I don't know what exact zone I don't or I want to be in. So like in our downtime for Scary Farm, my my plan and my hope is to like design characters for each zone. Oh okay. Oh wow. So nice. you have a little bit of an option. It's when it comes down mm -hmm. to auditions or like. What do I want to go for, you know? And then yeah. at the yeah, end of the day, exactly. you have an option. That's cool. That's really smart. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I've heard that at all, at all this season for Scare Depreciation Month, where really? people are just like, people know where they want to go, but I don't think I've ever heard, like, coming up with a character for all the scare zones in case, like, you know, just that. that that's super cool. That's genius right there. Yeah. Why yeah. don't I think of that? That's genius. Well, and, you know, you can you can refine that character. and Yeah. yeah. Um, and then, you know, as it gets closer, you know, obviously auditions will be back in August. You know, as you get closer, you're like, okay, this is the one that I want to main. Maybe it's like a second. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you have all the, the whole year to like come up with these characters, write them, yeah. and then yeah. Um, I know what Forsaken Lake. Um, that would probably be me or not me. Scare Zone, I'd want to be in, but not until like they expand it more. I know yeah. they did expand it a little bit this year, but like still s small. They should take over like Fiesta Village. Exactly. Point, you know? Yeah. Like, um, mm -hmm. even one of the uh, characters that I talked to. I was working with um, they said they should might as well just take out or take out uh, the Awaken the Dead and then just spend that for Forsaken Lake because God knows I don't want to listen to that DJ <laughs> the only problem I mean the only, I feel like the only problem with that one is because of how bright all the rides are in Fiesta I don't know if it'll happen mm. yeah because Fiesta's so bright I mean you know, they, they really do work carnival because obviously the boardwalk in Midway is really bright. Too. Yeah, yeah, it is. But like the boardwalk, like, however, though, I mean, I mean, we've talked to someone from Carnival, and like that's the biggest challenge is like trying to. to but scare they've them. done a scare zone in um, Fiesta, Fiesta yeah. before. Because originally it was just what was it? And there is some dark areas. I mean, there's not. I mean, the, not all those. I mean, if you go to like the swings, of course that one's bright. Right and, there by um, Montezuma's dark. Yeah, like yeah, over there, Montezuma. Yeah. Really Most of dark. that area is pretty Remember. dark if you, if you keep the lights off. I mean, if they were to shut down the games right there too, like and not do games, or like you know dim the lights a little bit more, like yeah, if they could dim the lights, that'd be super sick. Yeah, but I think it, I think it would work out ultimately. Like Forsaken Lake, if they were expanded over there, it'd be cool. Yeah, yeah. it would. Yeah, it would be really cool. Um, and then back to what you're saying about uh, one of the characters saying that the maze is an audition. Mm -hmm. That's how I literally felt being in my room that I got put in because the witch's room wasn't dark well some air like some little areas was dark but most of it was like little yeah so when I first entered that room or when we first got to see it 
I was a little too intim- intimidated, but I have, I made it work. You grew into it, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's one of those things where in the way that was kind of like your own little scare zone, you know what I mean? That, that was how you were rehearsing on the yeah. streets, you know, right there. That was like a good practice for you. And you were out with nature because it was... I know, it was nice. No. It was one of the rooms outside. Yeah. Yeah, Sprinkling. So. Sprinkling, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dark rain tunnel air conditioning. <laughs> Our was our maze was too apparently, but people couldn't feel it. Well, I don't think I ever felt it. I think it, what it is, was like when you first walk in, obviously you can. It's but like it's there's so many bodies in there, like you're just walking in the heat. Yeah. And when you, you first walk into the barn, it's very temperature controlled. Yeah. But then you start just going. Now I think yeah. with just origins in general, that was just a, a maze where when we walked in, we were just blown away by the scenery. Yeah. Because you know it takes you through all of ghost town. And it's so like, you have a little bit of ghost town too. Yeah, and then yeah, so it's like you're getting like in depth with the ghost town. I mean, you go in, you're on, you're on the trial, obviously, and they're mm-hmm. doing the whole Sarah Marshall thing right there. And as the maze progresses, you see her like on the different mirrors and screen, and you know the screens and stuff, and she's slowly changing more and more. Yeah. And she's you know explaining the story of why she's doing what she's doing, and I think it's just an amazing thing. I mean, if I can literally stay in there all night and just listen to the story because you're going through so fast, and it's like you barely have time to like see what's. You know, you're focusing more on the scares, and and she's actually saying stuff. She's saying a story. If I can just listen to that story, yeah, I would love it. And that's um, when our lead will let us go, like in the park. Mm-hmm. That's I. That's what I'd actually do too, especially if there wasn't people behind me. I'd just like slowly walk through the whole thing. Definitely. Yeah. That that yeah that like and then you know as you go through. I mean, I think one of the best scenic parts in that, uh, of course, the witch. Uh, flying around I mean Knott's is always famous for doing stuff like that whether it be that or the bungee cords you know yeah. they're famous for doing that which is really cool and then of course um, I think one of my favorite scenes in there is when you're walking through the porch and it's like raining in ghost town like how they accomplished that effect I was like blown away yeah so my favorite scene was a hand Man, oh my god, that was so that, The first time, I was like, oh, I got caught in this thing. I don't know what to do. I just was like trying to go around. I was like, I don't want it to touch me. Even though I know it's a fake rubber plastic big hand, I just don't want it to touch me. What was it? I was, I was leaving the maze th- for my break, and I'm all in character. Freaking the hand comes I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> really? uh, that hand, it, it was fun to watch people get scared by it, especially like when I would stand right there by it. Yeah. It It'd be funny just watching people get scared. Do you have any fun shenanigans in your maze? Oh, so um, there was a few nights where I had to cover the witch's room and like like half of that tunnel mm-hmm. you walked through. Yeah. Um, what is it? So there was two. I think there were two teenage girls. Uh, I was pretending to be a dummy against the wall. Oh, great! <laughs> Pop out. There they go back into the set and on the floor. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh shit. shit, that's funny. <laughs> Same people crawl into the next room. That's epic. Uh, <laughs> I love watching people get floored. It's great. We've had so much fun watching people get floored. Did a lot of people get floored and go uh, and dark right? Oh, yes. Yeah. You've seen clowns and like, yeah! And yeah, I, dude, seeing girls or even guys flip out, you know, just, just like you see them walking. Oh! Yep. Drop to the floor, really. and then they start crawling like a baby into the yeah. next room. <laughs> some of them would be crying, and then some one um, character scared a girl so bad she peed in her pants. Oh my god! Uh, so you got you got the uh, you got to witness the peeing, then, huh? No, it was on the other side of the, oh, the okay. clown hell. I mean, I don't know who did it, they but told you about it, and I was just like, oh man. I was like, That's I was saying, we built up for you. <laughs> yep, there it is. Oh, but I want a percentage of that scare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. man, yeah, those, I mean, that, we live for those moments. We saw so many of those in Ghost Town this year too, and it was just like my uh, favorite one. I think my favorite one, at least, not to speak on behalf of you, was when we got in the Hollow. That was the best. Oh, the one we got on camera. Yeah, that, that was really great. So in the Hollows, we I, I got it on camera. It's on our Instagram too, but um, they came out and like these chicks were all walking out, and all of a sudden like. Four monsters just came and surrounded them. Like two of them came sliding out, and then the other two just came up and they just rocked. And one of the girls is like, ah, 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 and then she just started crawling away. <laughs> and the guy started following her, and she was crying. She's like, ah, ah, ah. It was oh, it was hilarious. I, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. You know, and then when we see this stuff like that, it's hard for us to break character. You're like. I sometimes sometimes when I would see a person fall to the floor or you know like I'm like <coughs> holding my breath I'm like 
Mm, okay, next uh, n- next care. Aren't you kind of so you wear a mask though, don't you? So aren't you glad sometimes you you have that mask on where it's just like you can let out a smile real quick and then just get back into it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, bo- you both wear a mask, huh? Yeah, yeah we do. so that's that's always good for like uh, if you have to take a laugh real quick. Just man, <laughs> we've we've heard some stuff that happened in special ops and those guys dying and just like they can't they can't they're they're really they're hide it, you know. And so it's like I think that's really cool with the, the whole mask thing. Um, now, oh, oh, yeah. go ahead. Oh, yeah. No, be, going back to laughing, it's like I'm a clown. Yeah. So of course I'm gonna start laughing at you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then that you, you know creep people out. You're working with your character too, so it's, yeah. it's good a good little character development. Yeah. Um. So every night coming into the event, was there a way you guys would pump up each other? Uh, just you know get psyched or everything, and like listen to music or just mm. yell or just do energy. Game? I don't know. <laughs> people do a lot of stuff. Backflips, I think it was. Backflips. Oh wow. Oh. No, no one does. That. <laughs> just kidding. I mean, yeah. I mean, my brother and I would you know listen to some. Some music to get us pumped. What was your go to usually with music? Hmm. Like metal and stuff? Yeah, um, what's that one album? Um, I already got my. I already got my. Nine, was it Nine Inch Nails? Nine inch nails. The yeah. one album with all the scary, the scary, um, the oh. slasher films. Oh, nice. So yeah. that kind of motivated me a lot. Yeah, yeah. And then the main one that we listen to and still listening to is uh, actually the song. That was uh, for Waxworks that they did at the announcement event for Scary Farm. It was like Mo- a monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember. By that. Big Data, I think. Yeah. The ones like I've created a monster. I created yeah. a monster. Yeah. 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 That's it. Yeah, we were, we were really big Kelly Clarkson fans. It's what we would use every night to get pumped. Been gone, you know, a little bit of that. <laughs> every now and then, no, I'm just kidding. It's <laughs> mostly like Slayer, Pantera, Misfits. Yeah. a lot of that fun stuff. Even just going to the event, I'm just like. Oh. We had to get pumped. Yeah. Even though we, we were we went like twenty times, like every night it was like we had to get pumped. You gotta do this. <laughs> we had holy divers playing. Holy I, every <laughs> time we walked into the event, it was either Hell's Bells or Holy Diver, and I would not be mad one bit because I love both those bands, so it's like you know, um, I'm not mad. I think for me comical relief wise and would be Ghostbusters. I'd be driving to the to, <laughs> yeah, be you know blasting it out, and then well, obviously this year <laughs> Universal had Ghostbusters. I was like, I, we were like wrong park. I, I, yeah, I would make fun of that because we leave the park and they're playing it over the speakers. I'm like, someone's gonna get copyrighted. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. my god, it's just been so many fun moments within the mazes and within the scare zones that we've had. Uh, we got actually a couple fan questions, I believe so, on the Instagram, on our Instagram. If you guys don't follow us on Instagram, it is at the Night Support. Shameless plug. No, always shameless plug. Always shameless, and uh, I am not mad about it one bit, or at all. So the first question comes from, I think it was you, actually. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> mom told me to ask a question. How is how's one's mom end up having two monsters? <laughs> oh gosh um well for me i think it was based on you know growing up yeah, yeah. my first haunt ever was back in i think seventh grade uh that was like i think 2003 2004 mm-hmm. i was in seventh grade and that's the first year i ever went to scary farm um and then ever since then I know, well, I was, obviously I was too young, and for our, in our family, Halloween's a big thing for us. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing, I'm sorry. You need five minutes. Oh, okay, I don't know what you were doing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, ever since then, at my house, I would yeah. decorate, you know, for Halloween. Every year, yeah. And I would dress up these scarecrows with costumes. Nice. And then I would dress up myself. So and like with the, the fake kind of dummy. And then yeah, exactly. And yeah, those are great. Yeah, they're like, oh, my, they'll go to my mom instead of me because I'll be sitting right there with the candy or I'll be standing with the other scarecrows. Yeah. And then I'll chase people. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. It was fun. And I'm like, you know what? I wish I, you know, that was my way of getting around scaring people, you know, not uh, scary for them, but yeah. it was, you know, a motivation for me. And I think just... I would have done it sooner, right after I graduated, mm-hmm. but I, you know, went to school and all that stuff, so, to, you know, last year, I was like, you know what, let me go for street, or not for streets, or 
audition. Mm -hmm. And and obviously growing up, my brother was you know he wanted to do you know he loved Halloween and dressing up. Yeah. And you know we took him for Scary Farm and his first time. I don't know what year that was. Twenty fourteen. Yeah, twenty fourteen. Nice. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's generally how we started. Um, but actually. The high school that I got to go to, uh, Gar High School. He was a Gar. Yeah. Uh, okay. Nice. Yeah. Uh, well, we both did. Nice. Graduated from Gar, huh? Gla what are they, gladiators? Yeah, they gladiators, I believe. Garbage gladiators. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Cheerios, Gar. yeah. Good old Gar. And you got the Cheerios. Yeah. Um, the Cheerios. The <laughs> Cheerios. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, so my uh, the theater department that I got to be a part of. Um, my the drama the director she did two years of an escape room slash maze kind of thing oh, nice. yeah. so the first year it was called it was the theme was cabin in the woods and then the last year was deadly disney wow yeah so they turned like a bunch of like disney characters all that's cool yeah and then cabin in the woods man that movie's great I love that movie. yeah so yeah. i got to do those and well obviously when i turned 18 there you go yep it was time to sign up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sign my name on the dotted line. Yep. It was a dream come true. I was like, yes. And like, I didn't care where I got placed as long as I got, you you're know. You're part of the event. That's all that matters. You're yeah. Like, Shit, man. I grew up scaring people. Now I get to get paid to do it. Man, it'd be so cool if you guys were in the same streets on that. Because you saw some Brothers of Destruction. Oh, man. <laughs> There's actually a set of twins, too. Yeah. Was, uh, or two sets of twins, I think. I was one in Carnival. Well, there's there's another set of twins. Carnival. I don't know about anywhere else. Yeah. But I mean, if you count the hall, they all look alike, you know. I mean, they're all scarecrows, so that's you know, true. Twins most of them are scarecrows, yeah. Yeah. Um, our good friend Jacqueline Winters from Fracture Compass Productions asks Was there any friendly rivalry uh, working separate areas between you two? Hmm. His face yeah. says no, but his face says yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's because, so Shadowlands was closing this year, and yeah. every time their chat. Their chant was, live by the sword, die by the sword. Mm -hmm. So every time we heard them, it, or the, the, when they said the last half, it sounded like dinosaur. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what, Origins, uh, when we did our cast meetings, when they said their chant was like, dinosaur. <laughs> so that was, I guess that was like our little friendly rivalry yeah, right yeah. there. Wait, did you mean a rivalry between us two? Or? Yeah, you uh, two. No, oh, between yeah, us two. but that's a funny. Bad. That's a funny. That's stuff. so funny. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you guys are bad. Uh, you Live by the sword, dinosaur. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, right there. Between us? Hmm. I don't think so. Other I than, mean, other than the tr you know the trophy or the of each night, like oh, Dark Ray got first. Oh, Origin got first. Yeah. Because they would do rankings every night. Yeah. And I think that's the only thing. Like, if I saw us on the board, and then, you know, first place, I go up to them, like, hey, we got the trophy. It's well, <laughs> there would be, there wouldn't be a competition between the whole maze of ours two, but between us two, it would be a competition to oh, see yeah. who scares who. Yeah. The only one we really scared was our sister, for sure. Yeah. Oh, that's most fun. <laughs> And then this year, towards the end, uh, I think it was the, the last, last night, night, right? Our parents came for the first time ever. Oh, yeah. And they only visited yeah. two mazes, mine and my brother's. And That's they, a family of support right there. Yeah. yeah. And it was trippy because seeing my dad and my mom's face, like, they didn't recognize me at first. And, like, I was just laughing and, you know, creeping on them. My mom and my dad were like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why is it, you know, this character... And then I think they realized it was me, yeah. and um, and then um, for us, if we wanted to take pictures, we had to let our cast, you know, cast lead know, yeah, cast lead yeah. know, and then they could come backstage for a little bit just for for pictures. Yeah. So when I was taking pictures with my mom, my mom would get, she she <laughs> she look, ah! <laughs> yeah. she was wondering why is there a con in her face. Mask, <laughs> 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 mom. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, with me too. My mom looked more. She's like, uh, I'm like, uh. <laughs> mom, is that how I move for the Mom, you're mom? embarrassing me in front of my friends. <laughs> Stop. 
<laughs> that's, uh, that's cool that they give you that opportunity to bring family backstage real quick to like get a picture with you guys. Like that's really cool. Because um, yeah. I know like with Ghost, like all the scare zones, like they have like little areas where they take like if, you know if they if you're cool with them, they'll they'll take you backstage. And, mm-hmm. and we got the for, we got fortunate enough to do that with a lot of scare characters this time of the season. And even a couple no. colleges too, um, yeah. which I didn't even know they had a little secret area. But like it was like a backstage. I'm like, can we go back there? Yeah, if we invite you back to your camp. Oh, okay. Yeah, as, <laughs> long, as long as our cast things know that, you yeah. know, real quick, yeah, in and out, that's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's really cool, man. Because yeah, they're they're pretty they're pretty strict about you posing for pictures on the streets or mm-hmm. anywhere. Yeah. Yep. So. That's why they got little secret hiding places on the streets. I don't know where Carnival's was though. Is it backstage too, or did they have their own little area? I think it was backstage too. Yeah, because I I had saw people get pictures in Carnival, and I was like, where? There's like nowhere to hide. <laughs> There's nowhere to hide. Where? Yeah. yeah, I mean, if you do it, you do it really quick. Yeah. So I mean, mm-hmm. especially if you know your friend who you know, there they are, yeah, yeah. and then you go real quick, take a picture. We got a, we got a lot <clears> of people <throat> that just because we were announcing this, and then like everybody would just start knowing who we are because we be like, oh look at those two idiots on the bench every week, you know? <laughs> it's like you know, it's like everybody knew who we were and everything. So um, eventually, when we'd go, when we go ask them, uh, we would. Um, they would be like, yeah, come on, let's go. And I'm like, oh, cool, sweet. Like, yeah, come in. Here we go. Here we go. Meet you at the spot. <laughs> we know where to go. Don't worry about it. You go, you do your run, we'll, 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 we'll meet you there. We'll meet you there. Now it looks like we're not following you, like, you know, retards. Yeah. Um, it's, it's funny that you bring that up, too, because every time that I got to go through his maze, mm-hmm. whole cast we knew it was, like, almost time to go. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> so once they saw my face, they're like, yay. Time's almost done. Time's almost done. <laughs> oh, with like, oh, you, guys from Origins? Yeah, it's all. Yeah. almost over. Yeah. <laughs> uh, would, would you say your favorite moment was scaring your family, or did you have another like favorite moment out there? Ooh. Oh man. I think your favorite moment would be mm-hmm. last year. Last year was my favorite. This year. I'd like to hear last year's too, if you want to. No, <laughs> I, I will talk about <laughs> it. But, yeah. but I'm trying to think about th- this year. My favorite scare was, you know, people walking into the dark, um, um, the power room. Yeah. Because people were like, oh, they'd be distracted with all these clowns in clown hell. And then when they walk through the, the um, curtains right there, sometimes I'll pop my head out yeah. or my hand, just a hand. Yeah. And people would freak. But when they saw my face, because they'd be distracted by the curtain. Yeah. So uh, sometimes I'll let you, you know, you had couples together and they the girl would be right you know near her oh, boyfriend, boyfriend behind her so i'll let the boyfriend go through and then i'll pop my head and she'll go or you know in general guests will go Wah! you know they would <laughs> freak out because you see a clown hat and head come out of nowhere yeah so yeah it, i mean and then um yeah i think that was my favorite um because i didn't yeah, I decided to go in that room for a little bit, mm-hmm. and I got a lot of good scares just from popping out. Cause I, would, a lot of guests would tell me like, "Dude, you got me. This, you finally got me." <laughs> Cause good? we got yeah, macho guys going in there. Or, Does that feel good when you hear stuff like that too? Yeah. 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 Cause some of them be like, "Oh, that's the first scare so far for me." <laughs> I try to acknowledge it every time too. I'm like, "Oh, dude, you fucking got me. Nice. Damn it!" <laughs> Walk away with a walk of shame. Like, damn it, they got me. <laughs> damn it, I'm so so good. Every time I heard that, I was like, what was the rest of my casting? Because like, the rest I'm, of my casting? Well, because I was like, towards the end of the maze. Yeah. yeah. And when they say, oh, you're the first one that got me, I'm like, what? Okay. There's so many Easter cool. eggs in your maze alone, dude. That just, yeah. Like, the bride makes an appearance in there. <coughs> bride, the... Uh, mm. uh, we have a little hologram character. Bo. Bo. Bo, oh, Bo yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, I heard when you walk through the claustrophobic tunnel, like, you'll see different dolls have, like, different, like, related yeah, so, zones. Yeah, so... Um, the monster in the witch's room, mm. I'm guessing, I don't know, uh... Catawampus? No. That one was another one? Yeah, that was another. Finally. Which I was calling the group the entire season, and then oh. someone came on the podcast and said, yeah, that was Catawampus. I was like, oh, <gasps> I thought it was group this entire time. Like, uh, yeah. Like, These characters didn't like that at all. Oh, I know they did, and I felt like a dick every time. It's just like, ah, oh, but he was looking Nox rude, just so. came out with this at the wrong time. Yeah, because it's like you're in the middle of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and yeah. you just you know came out this year. And something similar too. It's similar happened to um, before Dark Ride. It was um, Dead Winter. Okay. Dead of, oh yeah. Dead of Winter or something like that. And yeah. they had a queen, Ice Queen, in there, and out you know Frozen Elsa. had just came out, so yeah. they would immediately say, "Oh, Elsa." Yeah. 
Oh gosh. That was like me to this year at uh, at Horror Nights too at Holidays in Hell at the end of one of the scare zones they had a, literally an ice queen that looked like Elsa. So every time I go I'm like look at Elsa. Yeah, she was pissed, but you know, it's like, yeah. like well, dude, don't design the characters look that are going to be reminiscent of people that I know, you know, it's like. <laughs> yeah, yeah um, and then going back to last year for Dark Entities, my top scare so far. Um, so in the cargo room, I have these bins in the wall, so I'll hide there. And um, so this girl, thick girl, she was short, curvy. Nice. And she was wearing a spaghetti strap, no bra. Nice. So, and <laughs> hey, he, 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 he remembers this so, one, right? Well, he's he was, been in the And she was, you know, <laughs> you know, well endowed in that area. Yeah. So, I came out for a scare. I scared the crap out of her. She just started jumping up and down. And then she saw me. She went, started going the opposite way where the blackout's at yeah. and blackout's like no you go the other way in the the, the exits behind me yeah. so she going being back and forth jumping up and down they eventually came out oh wow <laughs> <laughs> you got yourself a show that night <laughs> i was like is this really happening right now and then i just eventually just let her go through the next room the last room and i go to the blackout and i'm like do you see that? dude that was one hell of a scare <laughs> a scare of the year <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe, just, you know. So, I'm going to be honest with you, that is the first time we've ever heard that ever on the show. Yeah. So you just won scared the freaking year. <laughs> and then we've heard some good ones this year, but I've never heard of that. Yeah. <laughs> Talking hey, your wife? Hey, Talking song... your girlfriend when getting scared, we heard that. <laughs> he went for, like, a punch and it looks like he was going to go for the thing and then his girlfriend was like, next to him, he turns and, uh, but like, when freaking tits fly out, it's like, what just happened? Like, how does this happen? Big ones, too. And I was like, whoa. What? And I'm glad I had a blackout there because he was my witness. Yeah. And after that night, or yeah, after we got, you know, finished that, after that night, you see him walking around with groups of, or going to groups of people on the way to our break room telling that story. Oh, oh a monster scared of tits out of a girl. You know? Literally. Literally. <laughs> and then eventually, and we have a joke, too, for dark entities, dark titties. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, now literally it's dark titties. Dark titties yeah. um, no, that is probably well, we've heard it all. That is, that when is, I thought I've heard it all. Yeah, and then I hear that one, it's like, wow. Yeah, that is next and level. I the blackout I had. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with him. His name is um, gentleman gentleman Z. Gentleman Z. Yeah. So him, he used to be in Ghost Town. Oh really? Um, was he a was he a manager for things or? It was just a blackout. It was a blackout this year and last year. Okay. Um, I was fortunate. I, I was lucky enough to have him, you know, there and got to know him. Mm -hmm. He's a really cool guy. And um, <coughs> with him, um, he has a prosthetic nose. Wow. And he could take it off. And you could see literally inside his... It's like Voldemort kind of. <laughs> I'm not trying to be like a dick or anything. I'm just like, is that what it looked like? Or? Well, yeah. And what he used to do was uh, he had a mask on. Oh, okay. And sometimes he would scare guests with the actual, his, yeah. his actual face, and you know he'd make people drop. Oh my God! So uh, yeah, no. Oh, there are people over there like, how did they do? How did they do that makeup? Exactly. <laughs> nope, it's real. <laughs> that sounds real. Yeah. So he he was really cool, and yeah, he was a really cool guy. Um, but yeah, he he told that story all night, and then this year when they had uh, first timers rookies mm -hmm. you know and um, he would tell them you're like oh has he told you about the titty story yet you're standing <laughs> over there like really <laughs> 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 that's so, great though dude that, that is probably one of the top scares I've ever heard in my life and I was like what are you uh, I'm like I'm glad I got to see that but I'm surprised <laughs> he just came to the Knox Scare Farm in no bra right? Know, right? spaghetti like, strap <laughs> I'm done. What about you, good sir? What was your favorite uh, moment? I mean, I mean, you don't have to top that. Just so, just so you know. Well, I, I don't. This season, I didn't get to. I didn't get to experience anything like that. So sad. For Coming it. soon. Hopefully down the line. Um, but I would say my favorite scares were like when I made people go into the set. While scaring them, <laughs> or when I was able to get them like three times in a row. Oh, nice. So it's like, like boom, boom, boom. Yeah. So the nights I had to cover the witch's room and that tunnel. Yeah, yeah. I'll start off in the witch's room, 
And then I'll like go to the tunnel, hide in one spot, scare them, then go like a little further and scare them again. I'm like, <laughs> you're like, I did a trio, mission accomplished. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. And especially too, what I liked about the tunnel yeah. is because when you see the people turn the corner, turn the corner, you don't see anything like right there. Yeah. So my main spot would be right there. And I'll use the people as my blockage and come out and people are like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now that's been a question we should have been asking all season. How many times did you hear the words, oh shit, oh shit, oh fuck, <laughs> and fuck you? How many times? <laughs> Several <laughs> times many, over the too season. Many, too, too many, many times, times to count. Too many times to count, dude. Because that's a, that is a staple for these events that you hear. The words that come out of you, oh shit, oh fuck, fuck you. Yes, yep. I've heard that. Those Probably the, in that same order. Same too, order. You know? <laughs> <laughs> when you think the three guy, you know, or, oh, even, shit, fuck, fuck you. or even motherfucker. <laughs> I got that. I think at least once. A lot of them like the little twelve-year-olds that come through. Like, dude, what's your mouth? How old are you? Like thirteen? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody can call your mom to eat the soap again. Um, for those who want to be scare actors uh, at like this event or any event, uh, what advice would you give them? Hmm. Just be yourself. Well, the general advice would be. Just, um, go ahead. No, no, I'm still thinking. Sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, if you love Halloween, and you know, if you have a lot of energy, yeah. um, show it during auditions. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, it might seem really, really ridiculous, but the more energy you put out, the better, most likely, you be placed on the streets. Mm -hmm. Um, but either way, I mean, if you get placed in the maze too, that's fine too, you know? Um, for me, like, I was like, oh, I was put in the maze for, you know, first, you know, in the first launch. And then this year I was put into a maze too. But that was my plan, you know, do two years probably in maze and then hit the streets, hit the streets and then go from there. Definitely. Um, but yeah, I mean, when it comes to auditions, just go all out. Just go all out. Yeah, I mean, there's guidelines, but make sure you follow those, and then, yeah, just go all out. Let it. Let your inner Halloween freak go. <laughs> That's just you around for me. That's just who I am. Just let me loose. <laughs> <laughs> You've been locked up. Now You've it's been time to go. Like, yeah, exactly. Are you guys familiar with this character, Hostel? Hostel. The guy in is the it ghost town? The guy in the straight jacket with the blindfold on. He plays a psycho character. I think I've seen him. You may mm. have seen him, but, like, our joke... Oh, here on the Knights of Horror. He plays like this psycho character, but he's like, when you meet him in life, he's nothing like his character. He's like the sweetest guy ever. Our our theory is year round, he waits for that character to come out. And he just, that's what he really does like, year round, and he just plays that character out in the streets. Like, that's the real him. Exactly. So it's like, for, I mean, if you already know, like for me, um, last year, I got a rehire card. Mm -hmm. And the rehire card essentially tells you that you're getting a spot, your spot back. And you have the choice to accept it or not. Mm -hmm. So if you already know what character you're going to be, and obviously, you know, you can improve it or, you know, make modifications. Um, but when you get assigned a new character, that's where I find it a little bit difficult. Um, this past year, um, or yeah, this year, sorry. Um, yeah, they were like, oh, you're a, bru a bruiser con. You, you like to, you know, beat up people. And you're the henchman for the ringmaster. I was like, oh, okay. What I look like, <laughs> and they're like, "Oh, your mask is not ready. Here's your costume. Here's the like the, the overalls and the plaid shirt." I was like, "Okay, where's my mask?" <laughs> so I had to go back on YouTube and look at other mazes or dark ride um, videos and try to figure out which one was the Bruiser Clown. Mm -hmm. And to my surprise, I was like, "Oh, okay, that's the mask." And on the first day when I actually got to see my mask for dress rehearsal. I was like, oh, this is nothing compared to what I was expecting. <laughs> I was like, the big nose, had the crazy hair. I was like, oh, I love this mask. Yep. So, awesome. yeah, my cast A, because I was cast B this year. Mm -hmm. um, even last year I was cast B. Um, but, yeah, I love my mask. I'm glad I chose cast B because that mask was just, it was beautiful. <laughs> it was beautiful. Really awesome. Um, one of the last questions we want to ask you guys that we ask everyone on the show is, uh, what's your favorite horror movie? Ooh. I know I take an unexpected turn to talking to Haunt, but... <laughs> no, no, that's <laughs> totally that. fine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, favorite well, horror movie? It's funny because you guys are actually the first that 
believe it or not, you guys are one of the first people who've actually come on the show and like horror and work at a horror event. Really? Other characters don't really like horror. A lot of characters don't like horror, but they like like the haunt events. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I mean, I get it. I mean, it's not for everyone. But yeah. you know, I just find it interesting. Like, you're gonna work at a haunt event. And you're not really a huge horror fan. I'm just like, what? Yeah, I know, <laughs> and that's what surprises me. You know, sometimes it's different. When you're a scare actor, you scare people. Yeah. But you, when you're the guest and getting scared, it's totally completely different. Different. Because you had scare actors when we did dress rehearsal throughout the the scare zones. You had some yeah. scare um, scare actors scared of clowns. Yeah. And they're vets. And they're playing clowns. <laughs> no, they're not. They're I mean, not I'm just saying they were, they were walking through. They're just scared of clowns, huh? Yeah. It's just, it was funny because I saw like one girl, we were going through on boardwalk, and oh. she ran. Boom! She was a flash. Oh. She wasn't scared of the clowns. She was scared, scared of the balloon. Of the balloon. Huh? Yeah. Balloon. Yeah, she was scared of the balloon. So, and um, talking to my friends at uh, a haunt, some of them, you know, like, oh, I'm scared of this and this. And mm -hmm. it's just, it's funny. It's interesting knowing that some of these people that scare guests are also just scared of stuff, yeah. Yeah. Um, but going back to horror, oh, man, that's a hard one. So many great ones out there. It really is. Yeah. Um, um, my main would be Child's Play, probably. Oh. You know, I had a feeling that you were a Chucky guy. <laughs> I'm just saying, he's probably going to say, he's probably going to say Charles, but I feel like he's a Chucky guy. Yeah, the first one's good, man. Those, yeah. The original one's amazing. I haven't seen the remake yet. You're not missing I it. I don't want to. You're not missing it. <laughs> the only thing that saved that whole movie was Mark Hamill, and even he can barely save that movie. Oh, God. And I just, I'd let it, I, I wouldn't go watch it, because I'm a huge Mark Hamill fan, so it's like. Yeah. But he, he couldn't save it. But Chucky, that's, I, that's my number one. Yeah, that's number one. Me, I I love horror, and I don't, I can't really, because I love Jason, Jason Friday the Thirteenth. I like Jigsaw, you know. Yeah, Saw. And, um, and then I like Pennywise. It. Pennywise is good. Classic or new? I like classic. Classic. I don't know why. Pe I mean, for me, I was okay with it. Yeah. I wasn't scared of clowns. I mean, I love clowns. Yeah. I think but. with the new Pennywise, he's more of a horror scary one, <laughs> as if the old Pennywise was more of a jokester. It was a jokester, it's but a yeah, creepy. he was a little bit creepy. Fun, but he had that creepy vibe to him, which is cool. It was but. Tim Curry. Come on. Curry, oh, yeah. You oh. get that guy any role, it's like, I mean, look at him in Home Alone 2 for crying out loud. Like, he, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, he wasn't playing Pennywise. He wasn't playing someone in Home Alone 2 to fucking Pennywise. It's like, come on. Yeah. yeah. And the funny thing with me growing up, I was scared shitless of like Haunted Mansion. I didn't want to go to Haunted Mansion. I was scared as a little kid. I hate that <laughs> right. still I, that right today. I cry, I'll I go cry. in, but like I hate it. Um, and then anytime I heard the Tales of the Crepe Keeper theme song, yeah, I'll be ditching into the next room. Done. I'm yeah, that little Tales of the Crepe Keeper creep the crap out of me. Oh, I bet, man. I bet. But oh, here's another one for laughs too. Crepe Keeper. His laugh. It, it oh, just, his laugh. Yeah, creepy, huh? I, I, I mean, it, like I said, I, I I like I love any character that has a very interesting laugh. Yeah, definitely. so it's a lot of what. Uh, so I can't for that question. I don't really have a favorite horror movie. I just have favorite. Everywhere. Yeah, so I just like the genre in general. The genres. It's a great genre because you can go from psychological horror to gory horror to like standard slasher horror. Or There's so many gonna... different subgenres of horror that you can just go to. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, it's great. It's funny too that you talk about both the Pennywises because mm -hmm. the only clown I've ever been scared of was the original Tim Curry. Tim Curry. Ah, yeah, Georgie. That was the only it I was scared I of. Growing up, I used to tease him like, "We all float, we all float," and you will freak here. out. You would like cover his ears, and I would even to even to growing up, this one because in our old house would have the hallway mm -hmm. turns off all the lights because the light switches are on that side too. Freaking. And then just comes out, I'm like, ah, oh, shit, and I freaking run. Um, oh, yes, they float. Um, and then another thing, too, growing up, uh, Freddy Krueger, I was also scared of. Go couldn't. Right there, man. I couldn't, or every time my sister put it on, I would hide behind the couch. Fun fact, <laughs> actually, my coworker, he hand makes all those gloves. Wow. Those perfection, yeah. He uh, actually sized them to Robert England's hand and everything. So he's a very professional artist. If you want to go see him, another shameless plug, follow Evil Ash Lives on Instagram mm -hmm. and uh, hit him up for a price for gloves. <laughs> Definitely. Um, but one thing for sure, I, I, I got to just point out, 
for me, I know the classic films mm -hmm. are not like scary, but back then they were scary. Classic monsters. The yeah. classic monsters. Dude. As in the Frankenstein monsters. The classic monster. monsters of what paid the pathway. Exactly. For, dude. And for me, I mean, I know a lot of people do, but the Frankenstein monster has been always my favorite. He's great. And I always correct people on that. I'm like, no, yeah, no. it's not Frankenstein. I, it's I, like, like, Frankenstein I, I, monster. And like, I get that. I mean, I, I mean, I call him Frankenstein too. But I, and I, deep down, I know what the real one is. I mean, I think everybody yeah. just calls him Frankenstein now, just because. Oh well, yeah, because you know, it's, you know, it's just. Pop but the, it was actually Doctor Frankenstein who created it, and that's Frankenstein's monster, who never really got a name other than Frankenstein's monster. So yeah, they just stapled him Frankenstein. You know, it's like. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, um, I, I get you. I mean, I'm a horror fan too, and I always correct you. Know, for me, as sure. an artist too, because I like to paint and draw. Oh, nice. And just the dramatic, you know, dramatic lighting and all that stuff, cinematography of that time, beautiful to, you know, to this very day. Well, that is probably <clears throat> my favorite Frankenstein picture of all time, just because I love the way it looks. <coughs> and I did, if you go look at the original, like, four, uh, you know, Universal Monsters, you got Dracula, Wolfman. Um, the mummy, and then uh, they, have cre they have a creature one too. They all have that kind of style. One of, another one I like very much is the is the Wolfman, yeah. where he's like doing his kind of growl and he's looking, and it's like oh. that same style picture. Dracula has one where you just see his eyes and he's looking at you, which is really cool. Uh, the mummy, of course, just him in his coffin which is really cool. And then you got the creature, of course, just looking at you. The Universal monsters, like I said, are what pathed the way to, to horror and made that studio what it is today. Exactly. So it's yeah. like. Without the Universal Monsters, dude, I don't think horror would be at where it's at today. Because no. this was like a whole new thing. When these came out in the 30s, like, no one had ever seen something like this. And they scared yeah. the hell out of people. And <laughs> now you see, now you've seen horror today, and it's just, it's revolution. It's gone and way. As it's changed over the decades, you know, it's like, it's just gotten better and better. Yeah. Unless you make like 50,000 Friday the 13th sequels or <laughs> 20,000 Halloween sequels, you know. Or terrible child's play movie. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's just, it's it's been awesome, man. Um, well, gentlemen, uh, thank you so much for uh, coming on to Character Appreciation Month. And you want to do a snarl? Are you going to do your laugh? Uh, I'll try. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, we're going to get some first here, too. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. <laughs> That was some like that was, that was loud. That was round of applause. <laughs> that, man. That was good. Thank you. The snore. I mean that. This is why we say you are heroes because I can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do that. I mean that's so I hear that snore in the streets and just like oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, it's funny because my friends they say it's um it creeps them out more than it scares them. Yeah, that's yeah. more what it is. Oh, it's right. fine, kind of. See, for yeah. for this year, the clown. That's obviously I had a scare room. I use you know laughing as a scare tactic. Yeah, yeah. Well, of course, when you see me and then you're laughing like that, it keeps the shit out of oh, you. Oh yeah, people are gonna nope. <laughs> <laughs> Last year I got the snarl. I think that was one of the adjustments I had to make this year because mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I can't snarl. Clowns don't snarl really. <laughs> but last year I was able to snarl, so I was like, oh all right. But my snarl. <laughs> Oh. Like it's snoring. <laughs> it does. Yeah, it does, man. Um, we can't thank you guys enough for being on Character Appreciation Month. Um, and it's cool that we got more mazes involved. I mean, that was a thing when doing this. It was hard to get mazes involved. So now that we're meeting people that are in the mazes and stuff, we get to actually show the appreciation for mazes as well. Because uh, lately it's been a lot of scare zones and we want more. I mean, we love the scare zone people, don't get me wrong, but I want to see what it's like inside the mazes too. So, yeah. And um, to get a background of that is really cool. No, and that's the thing too. I mean, people, I think, um, of course, you know, streets is up there and mazes right there, but in my book, they're about the same because we, you know, we play on each other. Definitely. The streets, you know, you get guests ready for us. And they come through the maze, and you know and that's where we go and do our thing. When you think about it, though, people come for you guys mostly. The mazes, yeah, that's what it true, is, yeah. and the scare zones are there to, like you said, keep the fear going and to have cut in between, so there's no safe zone in the park. Um, and it's something that when we walk through the mazes, when we walk through the scare zones, we just we can't help but appreciate you guys so much. It's just because you guys are literally there day in day out, putting your bodies on the line, having hopefully the time of your lives doing it and um whether it be the worst guest or the best guest or just whatever kind of night i mean you guys are there just doing it and having a good time and i mean we can't thank you guys enough because we have a freaking amazing time going to these haunts and it, it's a lot to do with you guys and even the people behind the scenes that you don't see 
like you know the people who design the mazes, the lighting people, sound people, costuming, makeup, all the people who help bring this together. In the end of the day, and don't forget blackouts and blackouts. Control. Oh yeah, I can't forget <clears throat> those guys, especially. <laughs> can't forget them. They're can't very important. Oh, I mean, yeah. they help you guide to the maze and everything. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like without them, you know, I mean, a lot of people would be getting lost and stuff. So. Now that we the blackouts too, we wouldn't be as definitely comfortable as we would. Yeah. 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 Uh, so we just appreciate you guys, everything you do. Like we've been saying every podcast, in the end of the day, we don't look at you guys as characters, we look at you guys as our heroes. Because you guys are the ones that bring our nightmares to life. For the horror fanatics who go to these events every year, you guys are the ones that put us in these horror scenarios that we can only ever dream of, and then now they've, we've come to life. So, thank you guys so much for that, and uh, we look forward to seeing what you guys do next year. Thank you for having us. Yeah, yeah awesome. It was just fun. We love that this you guys was, came yeah. on and uh, so it shared some great stories from Origins, the new maze for this year, and another favorite dark ride that uh, it's a lot. It's a big fan favorite actually at the event, from what I've been hearing, um, and a little bit of dark entities as well. So that was cool. Um, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for another episode of Scare Actor Appreciation Month in the month of November. Um, be sure to keep tuning in. Uh, we're going to have more people on. We're almost coming to the end of our run for Scare Actor Appreciation Month, but don't be sad because I can only I can only tell you this: next year's probably going to get bigger and bigger every year that we do this more people are wanting to come on and uh that just blows us away that really does um that people want to come on to our show and talk horse and mm. horror stories so i am just uh thankful for that thankful for all the people we've interviewed this season who gave us the time of day to come down and actually want to talk uh haunt which is really cool i mean there's people that we've talked to who've come down from like riverside and uh you guys said you commerce so it's like you know there's people that come they're coming everywhere and they're sharing their stories which is really cool but um ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching another episode of character appreciation month if you guys want to follow us on social media at nights of four for twitter and at the nights of four for instagram make sure to follow us to see what we've been doing what we're going to be doing uh and some behind the scenes of what we do um of course we have patreon so if you guys are feeling a little extra generous from a dollar all the way to twenty dollars is the donation different tiers see what we have to offer in those different tiers because i can guarantee you in 2020 me and sammy are going to be really involved with patreon um but always for us as far as the subscribe goes, that's all we, you know. It's we, all we can wish for. All we can wish for and all we appreciate at the very end. Um, your subscribe, your likes, your comments really mean a lot to us. And turn those bell notifications on. Turn those bell <laughs> notifications on. So you can see the rest of this awesome podcast. Yeah, Scare Actor Appreciation Month is only getting bigger and bigger, and I can't wait to do it again next year already. I'm already thinking, I'm already thinking ahead. Yeah. Already <laughs> thinking ahead for next year. I'm already, that's how we feel, too. That's how yeah. we feel, too. My mind's already on August 1st, back to midsummer. Midsummer, so we can see what's coming for the Ooh, <laughs> yeah. Next three days of midsummer. Yeah. You thought two days was bad killing ourselves. We got a third, third day, day to add on now, man. Yeah. Summer of guests will probably be doing some podcasts again. We're gonna bring back summer of guests, which yeah. is another thing we You heard it here. So um characters, if you can't be on Scaracter Appreciation Month, we'd love to have you on Summer of Guests as well. Yeah. Just saying to get you pre ready for the haunt thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> um Big shout out to our current uh people who are subscribed to us on Patreon, uh Jacqueline Winners and of course uh Celine Martinez. Thank you so much for donating and sharing to the Knights of Horror. Um just say kind of goes back to the channel yeah way. definitely we uh whether we buying stuff so we can film content for you guys or more equipment so we can make uh, better quality content for you guys everything that you guys donate goes back to the channel so thank you so much um and like always i'm anthony it's your boy sam and these are two amazing characters we met today from dark Ride, right? from origins <laughs> we have the martinez brothers <laughs> My primos. Your primos, <laughs> man. And Martinez freaking family reunion in here, and then you got his area. Yeah. Man, it's just boom. Um, thank you so much, guys, for coming on, and we will see you guys in the next one. <laughs>